we're asked to divide the given rational expressions. The first step is to write an equivalent multiplication problem for each quotient. Remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. For example, dividing by c over d is equivalent to multiplying by d over c. So for the first quotient, the first fraction stays the same. We have 9x squared over 15y squared. And then dividing by 12x to the fourth over 45y to the fifth is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 45y to the fifth over 12x to the fourth. The next step will be to simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators before multiplying to assure that the final product will be in simplest form. To do this, we will write each monomial in expanded form. Because the prime factorization of nine is three times three, let's write nine x squared as three times three times x times x. Because the prime factorization of 15 is three times five, let's write 15 y squared as three times five times y times y. The prime factorization of 45 is three times three times five. Let's write 45 y to the fifth as three times three times five times five factors of y. The prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three. Let's write 12 x to the fourth as two times two times three times four factors of x. And now let's simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we have a common factor of three. Three divided by three simplifies to one. We have another common factor of three here and here. Again, three divided by three simplifies to one. Here we have a common factor of five. Five divided by five simplifies to one. And now let's look at the variable factors. We have two common factors of x here and here. X divided by x simplifies to one here as well as here. We also have two common factors of y here. Y divided by y simplifies to one here and again here. Notice now we have no other common factors between the numerators and denominators and therefore we multiply knowing the product will be in simplest form. In the numerator we have three times three times y times y times y which is nine y to the third. In the denominator we have two times two times x times x which is four x squared. This gives us our final quotient. Let's look at our second example. Again, the first step is to write the quotient as an equivalent product. We have the quantity x plus two over the quantity x plus nine, and then dividing by this fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal, which will give us times the quantity six x plus 54 divided by the quantity five x plus 10. And now we factor the numerators and denominators. But notice x plus two and x plus nine don't factor. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor between six x and 54 is six. If we factor six from six x, we're left with x. If we factor six out of 54, we're left with nine. This gives us six times the quantity x plus nine, which we can check by distributing. We still have six x plus 54. And now we factor five x plus 10. The greatest common factor is five. If we factor five from five x plus 10, we are left with the quantity x plus two. And now we simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice here we have a common factor of x plus two. X plus two divided by x plus two simplifies to one. Here we have a common factor of x plus nine. X plus nine divided by itself also simplifies to one. And now we multiply. We have a factor of six in the numerator and a factor of five in the denominator. The final quotient is just six fifths. I hope you found this helpful.